how are you this week? Hi, Charlotte. I'm fine. And you? I'm um, really excited, but also a little bit sad because we are getting to the end of our um, book. Look at the book. It's only that thin. Yeah. There's only about another 10 cards to come. So it's most probably two, perhaps three episodes. Yeah. Lots. So um, what uh, shall we do after this? You go on. That's yeah. Cool. Well, what have you got any ideas? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you can translate. Nee, uh, uh, we have genoeg ideeën. Leuk. Uh, We've got uh, enough ideas. Well, yeah. say, tell us. Yeah. Apart from, apart from the altar, yeah. you're going to, when you've moved home, you will show the witch's broom. Then I would love to see the witch's altar, how you set it up. Yeah. And the witch's book, um, because we've already discussed that. Yeah. And um, I'm dying to see also your wand. <laughs> yeah. And then you can hopefully send us or do um, a spell for good luck and lots yeah. of health and money for us, yeah. Yeah. for all the viewers. Do we have to have anything uh, when you're going to do it? Do we have to uh, bring in money or do we have to write things down? What do we, ca what can we do to set the intention to receive it? Can you for me a bit of a what you bedoel? As jij een, een spreuk voor geluk gaat doen, Ja. En geld en liefde. Wat moeten wij dan doen of kunnen ja. wij doen om de intentie te zetten om te ontvangen? Gewoon, gewoon, gewoon ontvangen, gewoon rustig zijn en dan, uh, dan gaat het vanzelf. Ja, ga gewoon een momentje voor jezelf even zitten en uh, bekijk onze video's, ons vloggen. En dan komt... Just uh, sit quietly and just uh, set the intention. Open your mind, open your solar plex. Um, to receive and just watch our vlogs and go back what we've discussed and just join us and uh, come in and we also and Wendy does also healings you can see that in episode nine yeah and um, I can't wait because Wendy's also going to show us a, a full moon uh, um, uh, how do you call it spell or celebration and that we talked in um, the last episode. This is episode 11. And so that will be in episode 10. She talked about the full moon in Libra. That was on the 7th of May. And that was also her birthday. So she celebrated by doing um, a, a full moon a ritual. Okay. Yeah. Exciting. Okay. Heel veel ideeën. Ik wil... Um... Op het moment als ik verhuisd ben, kan ik meer laten zien van de spullen die ik heb wat met hekserij te maken heeft. En nou, van alles kan ik gewoon uh, ook laten zien en doen waar een werk heks voor staat. Um, once she has moved home, she can show all the, her uh, things that she has, that, uh, like stones, uh, the, the bowl that makes the sound. Uh, I don't know what the ball's called, the but the gong ball, uh, bowl, I think. Uh, also, they use that in China, and some readers use it to bring in the holy or the positive energy. Yeah. Um, and we'll learn a lot more from Wendy. Okay, well, perhaps we might have another deck, a new deck to discuss. Yeah. Uh, well, who knows? Hello. Uh, uh, but I've I've also found a book, and uh, that I might get it. I don't know yet, but it's called the Healthy Witch or the Green Witch. Okay. So uh, I would love to do that and go and I will try to sort out what what I can do. Okay. Well, today we we've got the um, scarab, and the scarab is a beetle, and that goes way back to Egypt. I do know that. I love the scarab. It also protects against evil and brings good luck. Okay, let's see what the book says. Scarab. Scarabs were popular amulets in the ancient Egypt on the basis of the image of the dung beetle or scarabus. 
uh, saucer. Egyptians wore jewelry or amulets in the shape of scarabs to bring them strength and renewal. The bottoms of these amulets were often inscribed with protective spells. The hieroglyphic image of the be uh, beetle represents to come into being, to become or to transform. The scarab is the symbol of regeneration of life. The meaning of this card, you've been in the process of trying to change your world for a long time now. And it's been more of a struggle than you anticipate. Do not forget that nothing in life is carved into stone and anything can be changed or transformed into what you want to be, even if it seems to be an uphill battle. Amulet, the perseverance of the beetle to get things done. The gemstone is turquoise. Turquoise is a sacred stone that invites healing, renewal, wisdom, love and protection. Thanks to its copper content, you can connect to the turquoise when you need to change a situation for the better. Harness the energy of this stone to help you remove forward, to move forward, sorry. Incantation, walking, wait, walking up a very steep slope. My legs are shaky, but I will fill with hope. As long, I, as long as I continue to persevere, then I will have nothing to fear. Okay. Deze kaart he, staat voor van je zit midden in een proces. Je wil veranderen, maar het lukt niet altijd even goed. This card means that you are in a transformational period, but it doesn't really um, go very well sometimes. It's really hard. Het is niet gemakkelijk, maar kom op voor jezelf. Hoe moeilijk ook, geloof in het positieve en gaat aan. Stand up for yourself, even if it is very difficult. And um, go for it. Take action and stay positive. Yeah. We were talking about the scarab beetle. Go on. What is your definition, Wendy? Deze kaart zit midden, je zit midden in een, pro, een proces. Je wil graag veranderen, maar het lukt niet altijd even goed. Um, you're in, in the middle of a, a transformation. And sometimes it doesn't go the way you want it. Ja, het is niet gemakkelijk, maar kom op voor jezelf, hoe moeilijk, ook, hoe, hoe moeilijk het ook is. It, is it, it might not be easy, but please come up for yourself. Stand up for yourself and carry on. Geloof in het positieve en ga het aan in plaats van afwachten. Um, stay positive and believe in the positivity and take action um, instead of waiting for it to happen. Klopt. Ja. Oké. Okay. The next card is the silver box. Also, toen weer de pentagram, hè? Uh, yes, on the box. Ja. I love the little flowers. The ja. silver box, the buttercups. The color silver represents intuition, imagination and illusion. It is linked with the moon and female energy. It gives a sense of balance and assists in emotional and physical releasing and cleansing. Boxes are made for storage and for keeping things safe. This is quite a, 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 a extensive meaning of this card. And the meaning is sometimes we lose focus and lately so may, uh, much has been going on in your life that your thoughts and emotions have been scattered. They've been left out to fly around and get misplaced rather than being held within the confined confines of a safe container, which is what the silver box represents. Your mind has been working over time and important thoughts and ideas pop into your head and leave just as quickly. 
you need to hold on to those flashes of intuition and regain your focus in order to find that happy medium between the chaos that currently surrounds you and the peace of mind that is badly needed at this time. Take five minutes a day to focus on this card in your mind. Open the lid and file away those scattered thoughts, ideas, inspirations. They will serve you well in the near future. The silver box is hammertite. That's the stone, hammertite. Okay. Hammertite is a powerful stone for the mind. It offers support with grounding, concentration and memory while still being protective and reflective. Hold hematite when you feel scattered or unfocused and it will help you find your center. The incantation, all thoughts and ideas hope, hop into the box so they can slip away like a sly little fox. Safe and secure they shall stay to help me on another day. Ja, nice. Nee, deze um, kaart kom, he, is van kom tot jezelf en focus op je eigen ik. This card means focus on yourself and come into your strength. Um, ga even in jezelf. En, go, uh, ja, to... go within. En uh, waar liggen je behoeftes en wat heb je nodig in het leven? What are your priorities? What do you want out of life? And what do you want in your life? Ja, en streef dat ook na. Wat je wil, streef dat na. Ga ervoor. Try to get it. Try to go for it. Come into action. Ja, ja daar staat de kaart voor. Oké, okay. thank you ja. very much. I'm getting a, a lame arm here holding it up. <laughs> ja. Right. Now we've got the skeleton key. Ooh. Well, you know that can, that can open up anything. Yes, everything. The skeleton key. I love the way it's got the olive branch on it. Yeah. That was I love it. Okay. Yeah. The skeleton key has deep symbolism associated with it. In ancient law, the Greeks associated it with Hecke, uh, Hegate, who held the key to all magic. The Romans attributed it, the skeleton keys to protection as in securing the doors of home and keeping evil from entering keys from entering. Keys open locks to provide access by opening doorways, both physically as well as spiritually. They are powerful instruments for locking and unlocking doors at the will, breaking barriers, finding safe passage and breaking free. When you are stuck in a situation without hope or ideas, which you seem to be at the moment, use the symbol of the key as a way to, of unlocking new prospects and finding solutions. Hold this card up to your third eye and envision a locked door before you. Then take the key and unlock the door. The gemstone is Aventurine. That's green. Aventurine is the stone of opportunity. It helps us shift our luck and plant seeds that sprout for new opportunities often used to boost mental powers, work with aphiterine when you need to open doors on your path. The incantation, all locks have keys, all wind has breeze. Most doors swing open with relative ease. This key I hold is a metaphor to unlock all doors that were locked before. I love this card. I, I love it too. Deze kaart is van als je vastloopt met je ideeën, 
of hoop, gebruik deze kaart en gebruik, en maak, gebruik deze kaart en, uh, en gebruik de sleutel en maak die deur open. If you feel stuck, this is what the, this card means. Use the key to open, get new ideas, to open the doors to more possibilities. Open the door on your path. Doe deze kaart, hè, voor, hou deze op je derde oog, dus hier. En, um, en hou in gedachten dat jij de deur nu op dit moment, hè, als, je die kaart, oh, als je die kaart trekt, voor je houden. En dan ga je zeggen, ik open nu de deur. Uh, Wendy says, just put the card or get a key. I'm saying that, get a key out of a lock and just hold it in your third. This is a, actually a task that you can do and uh, that you can literally help something solid, material, materialistically, hold it against your third eye and say, I'm opening that door. Choose yeah. your door. Open your mind. Open to spirituality. Open to in, um, intuitiveness. Anything that you wish to open or to close, you can use that. En ook van alles wat jij dacht wat onmogelijk was. Even nu, if you think it is impossible. Ja, wat je dacht van wat onmogelijk is, wordt nu mogelijk en werkelijk. En say. If you think it is impossible, just keep on saying, now it is possible and it will come into being. En ook, hè, je kan alles oh, nastreven. Oh, je kan alles nastreven zonder zorgen en zonder obstakels. And um, go yeah. for it. With, uh, with also with saying, with no obstacles. You're not scared. Oké. Okay. Ja, yeah. yeah, beautiful card. The last card. Ja. And we've got the skull. Ja. I like the way he's wearing beautiful rose, roses, green roses on its head. <laughs> ja. Ook een green, een beetje little, een beetje red inside it. Red of? Of look, ja. Alleen. No, I, no, no, it's just green. And ja. the green, green to me is the color of money, healing, uh, space. And oh. also the heart chakra. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what um, happens now. Okay. Skull. One of man's oldest and most powerful symbols is the skull. It has a long and varied history of use with multiple overlapping interp interpretations, although commonly is it is seen as a representation of death and mortality. Philosophically, it is viewed as a seat of intelligence, spirit, and the spark of human life. The meaning of the skull card, a skull crowned with a wreath of roses, is referred to as a carpe diem, a reference to the Latin phrase, which is generally translated as Cease the day. And this is the card's message to you. You've been overlooking the simple things and taking many things for granted. Be mindful of your mortality. Realize the importance of each and every day. And make the most out of your time. The crystal that you can use is jet. Once called witch's amber, jet is a fossil used as a, talis a talismanic gemstone since the early, earliest of days. Jet counteracts sorrow and grief, all while gently grounding your awareness into present moments. This black gem invites you to accept how precious life is so that we can enter into each day with mindfulness and hope. The incantation, now is the time to uncom uh, uncomplicate my life, to enjoy simple pleasures and remove all the strife. 
Each day is a blessing and time quickly goes by. From now my behavior I must rectify. Hey, wow. Heavy. <laughs> Deze kaart wil eigenlijk zeggen, pluk de dag en geniet van elk moment die er is. Uh, Wendy says, this card means take, take the day as it is and enjoy it. Enjoy every minute, minute of it. Zet negatief om in het positieve en ga daarvoor. Uh, put the negative around, uh, strive to get the negative into the positive and go for it. Blijf niet hangen in je gedachten daarin, uh, van een negatieve, maar zet je gedachten om en werk ermee en werk met de gedachtenkracht. Um, set your negative thoughts into positive thoughts and uh, work with thought, the power of thought. Thank you, Wendy. You're welcome. Wow, that's great stuff. Well, um, how are you today, by the way? Are you going to do anything special? Um, I've gone not off to work. And um, yeah. Are you doing any healings today? Uh, and uh, messenger uh, yeah, via chat healing. Okay, lovely. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, no, uh, eight cards we've got. And then we've got the Oracle med Meditations. So we might want to, would like to do, and uh, after the, the last card, do a meditation for the summer to give everybody peace and show them how to do a meditation. Yeah. Okay, I think that will be a nice finish to the series, don't you? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. Okay, um, I hope to see you next week. Take care yeah. and okay. stay safe and give the boys a kiss and tell Ivan not to shh in my ear anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, take care. Thank you. God bless. Bye. Bye.